Hello, I'm Joseph Albert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine. Uh, I'm here to call your attention to what I thought was a particularly interesting article in uh, this month's AJM. Now, one of the reasons it's particularly uh, interesting to me is that I live here in Tucson, Arizona, and uh, one of my uh, neighbors is a scorpion. Uh, and uh, uh, it turns out that there's quite a few scorpion stings in Arizona. Uh, part of our uh, job of our poison center is to monitor the results of the poison stings. Um, and in, in cases of severe uh, poison sting to administer the antivenom, um, which was developed, by the way, at the University of Arizona. Well, um, this report um, is a three-year period of scorpion stings. It's uh, almost 4,500 scorpion stings, so you can see it's pretty common here in Arizona. Um, and these were calls to our poison center to report a, a, a scorpion sting. Um, and most of them, people had some pain and numbness, but they didn't need any treatment, and they were just reassured, and then gradually over several days, um, the, the uh, uh, abnormality disappears. However, there were some patients with some quite severe reactions. Some people will have allergic reactions. Some people, um, uh, you know, uh, actually uh, require treatment with the antivenom. But it turned out only about 150 required treatment with the antivenom, and they were almost all young children, where, of course, the dose of the of the venom is, is much more important in a small body size than in a full adult. Uh, so it, in a sense, even though we don't love scorpions here in Arizona, the ones we have are, are not uh, uh, dangerous. Some parts of the world, Mexico and Morocco, they have potentially fatal outcomes with it. And of course, the uh, antivenom from Arizona has now spread to those countries as well. So it's an interesting article. Um, particularly those of you who live in the Southwest where you you will see scorpions. They'll be in your in the bathtub, uh, they'll be in the shower, they'll be in, in the garden and so forth. Um, and you of course want to avoid them, but in case you're stung, this would be an interesting uh, uh, article both for you and for your patients who call you up and say that they've been stung by a scorpion. Um, please stay in touch with us. We have a lot of social venues uh, through Facebook and Twitter. We also have a website. And uh, so uh, stay in touch with us and, and take a look at the Scorpion Sting article. I thought it was a very interesting one.